Hello, right, I'm going to do a tutorial on paint effects um, because they have helped me so much in this project that I'm doing and I had a bit of a panic on beforehand as to how to do plants. Um, so here goes. First of all, um, two things I will mention in case anyone's looking for the same things I was. It took me ages to find. Um, first of all, you cannot render paint effects in Mental Ray until you've turned them into polygons or nerves. They will not show up. Um, so you do need to convert them beforehand before they'll show up. But you can in Maya software. And this thing here, it cannot be a red X in the corner if you plan on keeping the animation that you made in the paint effects um, when you've turned them into polygons. The construction history has to be on. And you'll keep all the animation of like grass blowing and all that kind of thing and because I made that mistake too and lost everything and had to rebuild them all because I couldn't undo my way out of it so first of all if you go into the paint effects tab on this shelf here which is here and you can see there's, there's loads of stuff here anyway We've got lightning and things and snake skin. If this will let me go back up again. There we go. Right, and what we want to do, because there is so many more than there is up here, is go into the paint pot with the two paint brushes in it. If you click that, we'll open all these folders and we're on the first tab, which is the paint effects. All of these are super useful as well, which I will go into in a separate one. If this one works out okay. So, the one I've been using is Ivy, so I'm going to stick with that. So, Plant, Plants Mesh, which is just one of the folders which are already here in Maya 2011. And I'm going to go with Ivy Mel, so just click that one. So it's all yellow and highlighted and as you can see there's loads of different ones here and there's more in plants and things so we'll close that and we've got a little brush here. Now if you're using a tablet the pressure will affect how much of this is created so if we do a straight line, a quick one, you'll see I'll we'll press 6 to get it fully shaded and click elsewhere so you can see it. Now because these are on a curve they don't all join up. Yeah it's my dog snoring as well so excuse any odd sounds. Um, and I don't really want that so there's probably a way of changing it so they all kind of join up but I haven't used it yet. I haven't actually needed to so because I've done big bushy ones, which I'm going to do now. So on your grid, and I'm just using a mouse, not a tablet, so I'll just have a bit of scribble and some hanging ivy. There we go, nice, nice thick bushy one. Okay, so there's the ivy, again making sure that's on. I'm a bit obsessed with that now. Um, and if you go into the Ivy One tab, you can change so many things, like the shading, like the colours and stuff. Um, go into mesh, the different types and adding things on and that kind of thing. Your illumination, this is all stuff that can be customised. Now, a lot of people don't use the Maya paint effects because they can look a bit shite. So all of these really help. I'm just going to keep it as basic as possible as the settings are at the moment. So I'm going to get rid of, close all of these down. Now if you go down, what I want to go to is the kind of animation and stuff. So if you go to tubes and drop that down. Now creation any mistakes that you've made kind of making it or you don't like the way it looks let's like say if you want it to be even bushier still you can 
add and stuff and tube brand start tube segments length and you can change it to anything really and get it looking exactly how you want it or need it and falling in the same place now what I really want is I'll shut that down again so we're in tubes I want to go to behavior and I've got forces here and gravity is a good one for this I think because it's all hangy and ivy like so you can make it all droopy and bleh. So it obeys the gravities. Go down, turbulence. Now you can pick a kind of preset what's it's. Now the grass one's quite quick and undulating y. I'm going to go with tree wind because it just it's nicer and you can play with all these and make it more violent or less violent or all that kind of stuff it's just usual like the offsets and stuff and flow animation as well And it all affects and it's all changes and it's all kind of stuff to make the effects yours and get again getting them looking exactly how you want. Now as I said, I'm rendering this in mental ray at the moment because it is still a paint effect. It's not gonna happen. It'll just give you a blank screen. If we're going to Maya software. And actually click render. There we go. Doesn't look marvellous, doesn't look great or awesome, even a bit really. Um, that's my dog whimpering, he's a bit sad. So we'll close that down. Now it's highlighted here. Now to switch it into polygons or nerves, I'm going to go with polygons. It's modify, convert, paint effects to polygons. Pow. Right. Now if you go to your outline or because as you can see the um, like the stems and the leaves are separate. So if you want to move the whole thing and kind of get it upright and stuff, make sure you've got the whole group selected. And we'll save that. And we'll click away. Uh, even there you can see it's obviously looking better and a little bit more realistic. So we'll go Maya software. Again, not great. We'll try a mental ray one now. Cooler. Right, the main thing with this is lighting. Now I'm going to try some super basic lighting. I'm going to go with, I'll go with an ambient light. Now if you can remember the last render, do a quick one now. And there already that looks so much better and more realistic like you could see that hanging from something and get some actual photo kind of realism in there and obviously adjusting the lights and stuff if you can get an IPR on the go
the other thing is as well, because we have the construction history, go out of the way. Because we have the construction history, if we go here, we can still mess around with it. Now the animation is still there as its polygons. Or would be if my computer wasn't trying to suicide itself. There we go. If we just drag it on random bits on the timeline, you'll be able to see that it is actually moving. There. And it's all in there. There we go. So basically, it's just, it's, it's lighting. And it's going to make it look cool and real and better. And at the end of this, I'll put one of mine, which is, dun dun dun, if I find it, my horrendous desktop, here. There's the one I did earlier, pretty much. And that was just a mental rain, it's a lot bigger and it's just lit from one side and a very kind of dark scene with no other lights in and things for now. But once it's all done and up, I shall share. And that be it, if there's any questions or I've done a horrendous job and I've rambled but this is my first one so enjoy and ta-ta